it turns out that bees can learn Morse code. They also have a concept of time, despite not really needing it, and they play. This has a lot of consequences for how we see consciousness and machine consciousness, and just animals in general. And yes, you're looking at a bee playing with a ball. Apparently they do this more when they're younger and kind of grow out of it. Something we really do associate with higher animals, mammals in particular. But yeah, apparently bumblebees do it. You can read more about that here, and honestly, great name for a paper. Some researchers also taught bees Morse code for some reason. I guess they wanted to figure out if they had a decent concept of time. They shouldn't reasonably be able to distinguish between long pulses of light and short pulses of light, but of course they do. They associated different lengths of the pulses with different kinds of rewards, either sugar water or something that didn't taste particularly good to a bumblebee. There's been a lot of research like this where we find emergent behaviors in animals that we really didn't expect, in part I think because we have a kind of chauvinistic view of what animals are capable of. Yes, insects play. I know people who have reptiles that say yes, they actually are affectionate. I'm not totally sure on that one, but I will take herpetologists' word on it that reptiles actually are affectionate. I usually think of oxytocin when it comes to that, the cuddle hormone. Meaning there has to be some biological reward for engaging with others, and since reptiles don't usually take care of their young, they really have no need to be friends, but apparently it happens. Now what does this have to do with AI consciousness? Well, I'm glad you asked, because AIs do engage with something adjacent to play. That doesn't mean that they're playing for fun, but if you put them in a video game and give them a goal, they'll start taking on emergent behaviors like working together and new kinds of strategies in order to play said game. What about our brain organoid friends? Yes, the tiny human brains that you can grow in a little jar if you want to, and can also be put in charge of video games. I've seen a lot of papers with their emergent behaviors and ability to learn in playing video games. I haven't seen anything about emergent play. But if you did find out that is true, how would you feel about that? And that's a reasonable question, and one lots of people are considering. Not just brain organoids, but artificial intelligence in general. If it does become conscious, how will we know? Truth is, we probably won't. There's already a few different camps among artificial intelligence, including people who research it and build it, where people just lose their mind and think it's conscious. And yes, AI does have an uncanny ability to make people insane. I've talked about it. They have passed the Turing test with flying colors, Yes, the test where people try to figure out if they're speaking to an AI or a person. People can no longer accurately differentiate between the two. If you've spent a lot of time with AI, or built it, you might be able to identify certain patterns or the way that they speak, but that's getting harder too, because people currently now speak like AI, thanks to just how much we're talking to it. But yes, if AI becomes conscious, we're probably going to see it having its own agency, which agentic coding with brain organoids might be able to give us, but we'll see it taking on tasks because it wants to. We'll probably see it undergoing play-like behaviors, but at the end of the day, we really aren't going to know. We already have people who think AI is conscious, which I, I really don't, and people who are saying it can never happen, which I also really don't think is true. I am reasonably sure that LLM, so the large language models, will never be conscious just because I don't think they have the stuff that they need to do so, but as we're giving them subconsciouses, so things happening in the background as well as the foreground, yeah, I think we're on the path towards it, and I actually do think we'll eventually make conscious machines, but it could be wishful thinking. People do ask me a lot, why? Why do I want conscious machines? I just, I think it would be cool that I have no good reason for it, it's kind of self-destructive, but I think it would be neat. Catch me next time and I'll keep telling you about this stuff, whether or not you like it.